All right, next up, we're going to look at the Chiefs and the Titans. All right. Uh, the, the Titans have a defense? Eh. <laughs> I mean, do they? I mean, they made Patrick Mahomes look pretty uh, – Pretty stupid. I mean, I guess it's everybody's doing that this year. I'm not gonna say stupid, but it's it's easy to do, man. I don't see the big deal. Who's scared of the Chiefs? I'm not. I think <laughs> Col- <laughs> Colts by three. They, they gotta wake. They have to wake up, though. I don't, I'm not worried to. about them missing the playoffs. I'm not worried about the Chiefs missing the playoffs. I am concerned about the Chiefs winning the division, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Chargers took a, a step back last time they played, but, you know, a lot of talent. A lot of talent. Uh, the Titans game plan, great. And listen, Mike Vrabel, a defensive-minded head coach. He, I mean, it's obviously player execution, but he had his guys well prepared. And honestly, listen, Tennessee and Kansas City has been um, just kind of one of those games the last couple years. They met in the AFC Championship game. Uh, several uh, 2019. All right, and like I don't know, they just they were ready for it. They're ready for it. I mean, listen, Tampa Bay, kind of. I'm not gonna say they figured out Patrick Mahomes, but they did lay a blueprint down to kind of figure out how, to, to to figure him out. There's no doubt about that. And Tennessee uh, came in, and even with their lack of defense, so to speak, they. They looked elite. Yep. They looked elite against um, uh, against Patrick Mahomes. So, uh, so for this offensively, let's uh, let's go over to that. Our personnel, our situation as the last play. All right, one thirty one. Okay, offensively, uh, we are in ten personnel. All right, which is weird. I didn't see Travis Kelsey out there. For this one, but it is third and seven. Uh, you think Travis Kelsey's like a shoe in, but yeah, I don't. I don't see him out there at all. So ten personnel, weird. right? Yeah, like none of these guys even look tall enough to to even remotely. Right, eighty seven. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. No, I'm not seeing him. Uh, ten personnel, which means one running back, zero tight ends, and you have four wide receivers out there, and uh, they're in the shotgun. Something that Mahomes and you know likes to execute out of. He's not really an under center kind of guy. He's a he's a big time shotgun. Give my give himself some space to kind of move and make some miraculous uh, plays the way he does. I I really don't think I see him under like directly under center very much. But um. But all right. So for the defense, all right, the Tennessee Titans. They actually, you, you'll be able to hear them when we play the play. Uh, they're in nickel. They are in nickel. It is man coverage. And we got one guy deep, and you can see him uh, for our visual watchers. You can see him back by the 30-yard line, 32-yard line, um, the Tennessee Titans 32-yard line. So let's give this play a watch, and, uh, and yeah, we'll begin to break it down. Here on third and seven, Mahomes in trouble. Mahomes hit from behind, loses the football. Bud Dupree. Okay, so it wasn't a strip sack. It was a fumble, though, which Mahomes did recover. Um, there's the play right there. All right, so let's just, I mean, just look at just how tough they made it. I mean, listen, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs did not score a touchdown in this game. No. I don't. I think that's a first. All right, that's a first. Probably. I, I, I would dare say it's a first. He's that good where he's scoring a touchdown at least. And, listen, Tennessee came up, and they came up good. Uh, what I'm looking again, the man coverage is really, really good here. And listen, I, I couldn't name a single cornerback off the Tennessee Titans. Right? Could you? No. Nickel here on third and. They played tight. Uh, but here, they have a dude named Jackson, but it, it's not <laughs> the Jackson that they used to have. It's a different Jackson. I right. remember that. But the right here, and if you guys can see my mouse on the screen. I don't know if he can. You'll, you'll see the, our little edge rusher over here. Bud Dupree. Bud Dupree. Guy on the edge. He's blitzing like crazy, and he's got a pretty wide open lane. All right, he takes it. Seven. And he's getting met by the left tackle. 
All right. Honestly, if if somebody wanted to to blitz in there, they'd have a straight shot at Mahomes. But Dupree, he almost takes advantage of the lineman pushing off. Let me take another look at this. Let me rewind it back. Let me take a look back. Just back a couple seconds. Third and seven. Yeah. He he kind of like does like a stiff arm thing, mm-hmm. and he take he actually it's a good angle. He takes a good angle on on Mahomes, and by the time Mahomes realizes that he's in trouble, it's it's far too late. It's far too late. But look at I mean look at the coverage right here. Look at the cut. That actually might be Travis Kelsey. I don't know. Um, but I mean, look how tight the man coverage is. Like Mahomes has nowhere to go. This is yep. very much like the last play with Joe Burrow, where he had, um, you know, he had the one guy open, but the the coverage was so tight, and Mahomes tough spot, third and seven, and look at, I mean, there's just contact. There, there's close contact. It's clean. It's good hand fighting. Mahomes. And yeah, actually, what the setup was was this guy jumping right here. This uh, defensive lineman jumped up and. Uh, after he landed, Mahomes was like, "Oh shoot, I gotta take off," and it discombobulated him, and that's when Bud Dupree got in on there. Yeah. So really, the big thing was—I mean, you can't, you can't play zone coverage against against Mahomes and the Chiefs. You just can't. That's that's not how it works. You have to play man. You have to be very good and very efficient at it. Nickel right. here on These guys are covered inside. very, very well. I mean, look, there, there's. I mean, this might be the the biggest gap right here. A, a, a yard. Everybody else, right. right on their guy. Right on their guy. Right on their guy. Good pressure up front. This revamped offensive line that uh, the Chiefs paid a ton of money for, you know, this offseason to help Patrick Mahomes. And they couldn't get the job done. No. And there it is. Great swim move. Trouble. Good Mahomes angle. Hit from behind. And down. The yeah. Fumble. No turnover. But, uh, you know, again, to, to, to slow down Patrick Mahomes, keep keep him on to the sideline. It was good. It was very good on Tennessee's part, and Tennessee is quickly moving into uh, a, the territory of a team that you have to take seriously. Yeah. So. It, it's it's uh, very odd to see Patrick Mahomes not trust anything. He's definitely it, shaken up right now. There's no confidence at all. He comes out there every, not every Sunday, but several of these Sundays right now, and it seems like he doesn't have the same swagger that he he once had. No. His, uh, his ego has has taken a hit, and he needs to find himself. I think that's the best <clears throat> way to put it. I, I I really do. And I'm not going to sit here and say that he has an ego, but, I mean, deep down, listen, when you get paid as much as he does, when you do as much amazing stuff as he does, uh Right, you got it. There, there's confidence. There's definite confidence. He's got right. a lot going on right now with his his family. Is knowing his family on social media, um, and then this, and then, and then this. He's just not playing good. Like Casey is three and four right now. Yeah, they are tied with the Denver Broncos at the bottom of the AFC West, and are you know what I mean? Just some of the teams that they're ele- and, and the Raiders are at the top of the AFC West right now. What what world are we living in? Ah. It's like the 80s all over again. Well, not even the 80s. I don't it, like it. It's like the 70s. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, so I want to give a little look, a little love, and just show how Tennessee does game plan and how future teams should game plan for Mahomes. You can't be soft. You can't be soft with them. you got to have man coverage, and you got to be on them. And you got to just that big-time big pressure, collapse in the pocket, but you have to be ready you know, for him to be mobile because he is a mobile quarterback. Yeah. We have to be ready for it. So. 319! 399! Cut! 3 3? Yeah, spot. Look at the end! 